All right, welcome back to Tiffin Cage channel where we don't upload that often. <laughs> For good reason though, craft takes time. Exactly, craft. I, I craft my edits. I don't just slap it together, I craft it together. It takes time, okay? But yeah, sorry for the long wait for the wedding video. I decided to take on the edit myself rather than hiring people to edit it. We did hire people to help shoot it. I even had my friend uh, AK shoot it. So multiple cameras at the wedding and uh, you know, we had really good coverage and looking at the footage, I was just like, I think I could do this footage justice, you know? Because it comes from a very personal place, you know, when I edit and I put like my heart and soul into everything. I don't just slap it together and say, it's you done. You see it too in your work. Because if you feel something when you watch the videos, you know heart and soul went into it. If you don't feel anything, then you know I kind of slapped it together. So we're recording this video. This is like, what? This is one day before we're gonna upload the wedding video. So by this time, you should have seen the wedding video. If not, go check out the wedding video first. If not, stay here and watch this video then, I don't know. But anyways, I've decided to record Tiff's reaction to the wedding video. Why? The last time I regretted not recording your reaction was when I first showed you the video to our proposal. And uh, I showed her, she started crying and had all these like very just insane insightful, loving, nurturing, caring, wife type things to say and I was like, I should be recording all of this. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, I just I just felt like we, we missed that opportunity then and I really want to capture it now. Not only do you, I kind of wish I would have seen my reaction as well because it was a really beautiful video to witness because I hadn't, I wasn't there throughout that whole process and I, to see it through your perspective and to, to see you ask Isaac for permission, that was like the sweetest thing ever and that would have been really cool to see my own reaction. But yeah, it, since you did decide to take on this edit, we're like, okay, wait, we gotta film my reaction. Cause this entire time he hasn't shown me any piece of this edit, so I haven't seen any of it. It's been top secret. It has, <laughs> it, like, he's been working like downstairs this whole time. I barely get to see him. Cause if, if I'm not at the office, and if I'm home, then he's like locked away in another part of the house cause he's working on this secretly. It's been a, a lonely process for over the oh. last two weeks, but uh, I'm excited I'm finally done. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm excited you're done too, and I'm sure you guys are really happy it's finally done. You guys have seen it by the time you see this. So I'm so excited to see it already. Let's yeah. do it. Let's do it. Oh! Am I gonna need tissues? Yes, I am. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Are you ready? Yes, I'm so ready. I'm like trying so hard. I didn't put eyeliner on purpose because I knew I was gonna ball my eyes. I should have put waterproof mascara. Honestly, I cried like so many times. You did? <laughs> oh, yeah. Baby. Okay, I, I just watch it. All right, here we go. Ready? Three, two, one. As you start to grow up, you start to it's realize like how you feel love. And I'm not even too sure what I'm hey. nervous about. Does it take you back? Yeah, it's like I'm reliving it all over again. I remember I was so nervous. How did it feel seeing you? Seeing how happy our awesome. parents are today is just it looked more beautiful than like I have never normal. seen. <laughs> you did. I'm like, whoa, you look like gorgeous right now. So to see them like that was like my proudest day. Love each other more than everything. Just be happy together. Your mom looks so hot. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> she looks, she looks young. <laughs> she looks amazing. You been there for my daughter when she ever, when she really needed you. You were there when she didn't have nobody. You make her the woman that she is right now. And because of that, I love you so much. Thank you, I love you too. Te quiero muchísimo. Quiero que este día sea el más especial para ti. Are you wearing it now? I didn't never take it off. I oh, it, my bracelet too. Oh, it's tight. I never take it off. Isaac looks so happy today. I can definitely see how incredibly <laughs> happy he is to see us get married and to know that this is a permanent thing in his life. <laughs> My dress got caught at the end there. <laughs> I was like, no. <laughs> Your reaction. <laughs> Good. And we think I was trying to keep my dress up. That's how my shoulders are like this because my dress is so heavy. Probably the strong chin. The first one was. I was trying not to look at you. Why? Because I knew I was gonna like fall my eyes out. Every time I glance over to you, I'm like, oh, you're 
Right. You know how when I get emotional, I get that. Yeah, that thing I remember. Yeah, I'm trying to hold it all in. I was like, damn. That's why. That's what was making me like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry. I could see the little thing coming out in his mouth. <laughs> I was like, David, shut up. Why are you going to make things so like sentimental right now? He's did such an amazing job. I will say, of course I will. And just as much as you two have evolved, I'm pretty sure your level will evolve as well. Tiffany, I feel like our relationship literally walked out of a movie and it exists in real life. I don't believe in love at first sight, but when I first saw you, I thought, man, I have to talk to her and I have to be with her. And it wasn't instant either. It wasn't instantly that we were together. Over time, though, I think uh, through my persistence, I think I finally got to you. And uh, we started dating. Pretty soon we moved in together. And we started a life together. Through that, I feel like we, we've literally blossomed into a perfect couple. And I don't want to brag, but I, I honestly think that we have a perfect relationship and I honestly believe that we will have a perfect marriage. And I promise to you that I will be <laughs> yeah, so crazy over there. Through the dark times and the low times, I promise to you that I will make things brighter and higher for you. And I promise to uh, love our children just as equally, no matter through love or blood. And uh, I promise to you that I will be the perfect partner, your best friend. The simple. <laughs> the cats want to see it too. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on with you and, uh, guys? They play with some cardboard boxes. <laughs> okay. Things I feel like are the hardest things to promise. Simply just being side by side and being happy. I think those are the hardest things to promise. All those small moments, the most important moments, the ones that are overlooked, those will also be perfect. I will never take that for granted, and I won't take you for granted. And I love you. How do I follow that? <laughs> I feel like I'm dreaming right now. Um, growing up, my entire life, I always constantly would wish that I could like turn back time and change my past and the, whatever I went through in life. And meeting you really showed me that I needed to go through everything I went through because it led me to you. <laughs> it's so hard to speak, but. You know how I feel inside, and you know everything we've been through, and my mind just went blank. <laughs> <laughs> but you have helped me grow into the person I am today, and I will forever be grateful for that. And I just promise to be the best wife I can be, your best friend forever, and I'll always be your number one fan no matter what. And I'm just really looking forward to what the future holds for us. I love you. They freestyled that too, by the way. <laughs> that wasn't written. That was amazing. <laughs> As you can see, you, know, you have all your <laughs> uh, oh, thank you. So, at times, we'll work late because of JK News. Would you like to exchange your rings? <gasps> Damn. I didn't even realize she got it. How funny. Is it going to be an I do or a hell yeah? Hell yeah. I was like, can I say hell yeah? <laughs> I don't know. We're not at church. I don't know. Well, I now pronounce you Casey and Tiffany Chen. You may now kiss the bro. I'm so happy for them. And that's us. <laughs> Sometimes when I watch your edits, I forget that that's us. Really? Yeah, because I'm like, I love them. Oh, wait, that's me. That's <laughs> you make us look Beautiful. It's like very larger than life. <laughs> I love that long walk. That was amazing. That's my favorite moment right here. That was us, like our intimate moment. That was just the two of us. It's so beautiful. Party time? <laughs> yeah. Oh my cousin. Sammy loved Nancy. I know my dad and Sammy like stole the show for like a good hour. <laughs> that was awesome. At least they got to enjoy the band. Yeah. <laughs> we were all taking photos. My mom, thank you so much for being here. It means the world to me. You could fly out. Don't cry, mom. You're gonna make me cry. I've been crying so much. I've been mom. trying to keep his makeup nice. How cute. <laughs> and Isaac, my baby Isaac. I love you, Isaac. And you know what I'm trying to say. 
<laughs> I saw him like choking up, so I'm like, oh, I can't finish this. Oh, baby. Number one thing you taught me was ABC. Always be closing. I remember that. Oh, the day you taught me always be closing, I was like, oh, that's that's life. That's life. I <laughs> 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 I know, it's, it's, uh, the movie is a great movie. Glengarry Ross. I love that. Also very happy for you too, and congratulations, and hope you guys have a happy ending for the rest of your life. <laughs> if anybody else wants to come up here and say something, Isaac, Isaac, come on. Um, <laughs> Cutie. I feel really great. I'm glad. Now, Casey is officially my dad, and I'm glad everybody got it came <laughs> to this moment where my now dad, my now, well, my forever mom. <laughs> that was my favorite line. <laughs> my forever mom, both of us are I never heard him chuckle. Our whole lives, and yeah, I'm very happy for both of these parents of mine. <laughs> yeah, I'm very happy for you too. And I'll always love you too, forever and ever until yeah, until the existence of human beings never exists. <laughs> oh, <he's> so cute. <laughs> uh, so who else <laughs> wants to give a speech? Nobody can talk. <laughs> <laughs> Mic drop. <laughs> <laughs> had a blast. Yeah, everyone had a blast. Oh, Michael, carrying the laptop around. He's the MVP. He is. You know that same sort of excited feeling you get when you sleep over your best friend's house and you're just having the greatest time of your lives and you never want it to end? I feel like that today, but times a million because I know that this is never going to end. I get to have that special sleepover with my best friend for the rest of my life, and I'm so happy. Yeah. <laughs> it's true what she says. <laughs> 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 we had to do this. <laughs> the cameraman didn't know who Joe was. Oh yeah, he went to Brandon. <laughs> I know, you saw me get the old hard drive, and you're like, and I was like what, are you, what are you doing with the old hard drive? I was like, I don't know. <laughs> I was like, are you not working on the video? Because we gotta, you know, I want to see it already. <laughs> it's all part of the process. You know what, though? I thought it was really cool how you edited your entire vows to kind of look like Pixar's Up, that opening oh, thing. Oh, yeah. Like I, could when, see, I could see that. Yeah, like when they actually paint their whole love story, and that's what you did with your vows. That's the part that really got me, where I was like, oh. You like, see a progression of yeah. beginning to now, right? That was really beautiful. I love that part. I, honestly, I want that entire wedding vow edit, and I just want to save that part forever. That was honestly my favorite part of the whole video. Thank you. I almost called it a movie just now. As I was editing, you know, the old footage into this stuff, and I realized how far we've come, and I'm like, I don't even really know why we started vlogging. I thought it was just something fun to do together. Having edited the old footage now, and kind of seeing some form of a full circle, thing happening with life you know I was like oh we're, 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 we're creating memories we're creating these very intimate moments and uh, it's like home movies and so like it really kind of gave me this perspective of like oh, we're making it for our future selves to see like hi that's future why. Casey hi future Tiff I mean that's the reason why I wanted to start this channel in the beginning was because I wanted us to really capture our memories and cement it in in a video format where we can really look back on it in the future so you know what we should start doing what we should just start doing all of our videos where we just address our future selves like 
in oh. the future. Like, hi, future Tiff and Case and future Isaac and future children watching this. Because then our future kids That are gonna, would be awesome. Yeah, our future kids are going to be looking at this video and be like, oh, so that's how mom reacted when dad created the wedding video. That's going to be so cute. So it's video, what is that? A, like a video time diary. Capsule. Time, time capsule. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. And, and a diary. I mean, they, they kind of go hand in hand. Yeah, let's just start doing that. Addressing our future self. Okay, selves. future Casey. Yeah. Like how that. do I look, future Casey? Do I look as good as you do now? Or no. no? Do well, I let's wrinkles on, I bet. I don't know. <laughs> it depends on which future Casey you're talking about. 10 years from now, 20 years from now, 50 years from now, 50 years or from now. Or a month from now, Casey. <laughs> a month from now, yeah. All you need is to get a haircut, future Casey. You'd be looking a lot better than I do right now. That's you get a haircut. So what, what are some memories from the wedding that we didn't get to capture? Because since we didn't vlog that day, I tried vlogging. Yeah. Actually, there, there was like three clips of me vlogging in the morning with Isaac, maybe two clips at the wedding venue, and then I realized how nervous I was, and I was like, yeah, not a vlogging day. This mm -hmm. is too much to handle right now. I know. We actually took two cameras to Paris for us to vlog on the wedding day, but then by the time it actually happened, and I remember you asking me, like, are you going to take the camera? And I'm like, I don't want to deal with the camera right yeah, now. I'm we just were so very, nervous. We were so ambitious going there. Yeah. By the time we got there and everything caught up to us, we are like, yeah. Yeah. I know, you no. know what's funny too? I took like a garter for you to do the whole garter thing when mm -hmm. the guy takes it off with their teeth. Yeah, I took it to Paris and I forgot to put it on. I forgot the, about the whole thing. And I know a lot of people were asking too if I even did the whole bou bouquet toss. And I did, but by the time I did it, all the video guys were gone. And then we weren't vlogging and we were kind of tipsy by then because we were drinking a lot of champagne. Yeah. So my cousin ended up catching it and keeping it, uh, Samantha, who lives out there. So Yeah, the whole day we were just either drunk on nervousness drunk on happiness or drunk on champagne you pick or drunk poison. on emotion <laughs> or drunk on emotion yeah you pick your poison that that was the whole day so there wasn't a moment where we were clear-headed and like you know, oh yeah this needs to be we like should that. do that we should do this and we yeah should we I couldn't know. do that just another memory that popped in my head David didn't know that he was gonna be officiating our wedding which he tells this story like it's my fault but no what really happened here is throughout the whole time that we were planning for the wedding I kept asking him either during JK news or during breaks or whenever we'd see him I asked him at least I remember at least three times I brought it up because David even said once like I am done officiating weddings like no more I was like wait but you're doing ours right he's like yeah yeah and I'm like cool and then another time it's like hey David so are you down to do our wedding he's like yeah for sure like you know yeah I'm down I'm like cool and then the second time was that whole the one I just mentioned and then the last one I remember asking him I think we were eating or something and I was like wait David so you are cool with doing our wedding right he's like yeah for sure for sure but he never he says that he told me that we would sit down and talk about it he never mentioned it to me though I think he said it in his own head because I've never gotten married I didn't know we had to sit down and actually discuss how the ceremony is gonna go yeah. so he never mentioned that to me so I just and I asked him three times already that I can remember so I'm like okay he's got it he's good but I did uh, I did mess up because I was gonna bring it up for the last time in that welcoming dinner but then you know being caught up in the moment and everything I completely yeah you're not thinking straight totally once you're forgot. in that arena of a wedding you know it's <laughs> like your, your mind just kind of goes out the door and you're like I need the wedding planner I need my friend I need my mom to yeah, remind me of all the things that. I need to do because that, that's really what happened it was like yeah. I don't know what I need to do and then everyone comes to you like oh do you need to do this and you do that I'm like oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my stomach dropped because he came to me first really because he had the realization with Joe and uh, he was like Casey we need, we need to talk so Am I supposed to speak at this point? <laughs> and I was like, Zzzz. He came over, he was so frantic. I was about to get ready to walk out. He comes, he's like, Tiffany, so I'm supposed to be doing this wedding? And I was like, David, how do I look? <laughs> he's like, oh yeah, you look beautiful, but wait, I'm supposed to be doing this? And I was like, yeah, David, we. I asked you a lot of times, like, how do you not know? I felt so bad at that moment too, and I was freaking out too, because I'm like, hold on. <laughs> We're about to get married and you didn't know you were supposed to officiate, so I was just freaking out. But I honestly, like, that the rest of the conversation was kind of a blur because I was just so, like, nervous and mm -hmm. just everything. But yeah, he ended up walking out. He did an amazing job. David, you were incredible. You can't even tell that he was just winging he it wasn't on the spot. Prepared. Yeah, I, honestly, when he came to me asking, like, if he was going to be the officiant, I was trying to craft my vows in my own head because, like, <laughs> we know how we weren't writing it, right? Well, I need to at least have an idea of what I was going to start with and end with maybe and I'll just fill in the middle on the spot and so I was just trying to think and I'm like in my thoughts I'm like yeah I'm gonna say that and then out of nowhere <laughs> hey I'm gonna do this thing right and I'm like okay uh, screw the 
hours from now. <laughs> yeah, let's work on this right now. And I was like, oh my god. And then after he came out from talking to you, it was just me and David pacing back and forth in the field. Oh, like, poor David. Uh, everyone that spoke at the wedding, no one wrote anything. <laughs> Everything came from the heart. Us two, David, my brother, Isaac. my friend Kevin, and Isaac. Like nothing was prepared. No one knew they were going to speak. And it was just kind of like, oh yeah, I'll say something. And everything came out so poetically yeah, and, and so beautiful. perfect. And if you were to write it, I'm pretty sure it'd be a lot more dull. You know? Yeah, for sure. Because Yuri, uh, the girl who did my hair and makeup, she was, her and her husband, Pat, after the whole ceremony, they came up to me and they were like, Tiffany, that was the most beautiful ceremony I think I've ever witnessed. And they were both like, that actually made me cry. And they have seen so many weddings because she does hair and makeup. So she's gone to a thousands of weddings. Wedding. And she was just like, this wedding, this one was genuine. You could feel it. Like I felt it in my heart. But yeah, when I was getting ready for the ceremony too, I was sending Gio and my cousin Jenny, I was sending them videos of like me getting ready. And I was texting my sister in Mexico mm -hmm. and like I was just trying to communicate with anyone that wasn't at the wedding so I can make them feel involved too and like they're there. My sister was like, we're ready by the computer, we're watching it. That's so <laughs> it was awesome. really cool. And then it was really awesome too how like we incorporated both of our cultures in the yeah, wedding. Yeah, it's a tea ceremony. During the whole thing I was like, oh cool. We incorporated the two elements of the weddings from our cultural aspects where instead of wedding gifts, it's money, right? And because during the tea ceremony, you know, you're supposed to pay respects to your elders and the elders pass on money or jewelry and then words of wisdom for the wedding. And then money dance is kind of like the same thing where it's like, you know, you have family members coming up to you, giving you money, but it's, you know, it's kind of like an offering for your future, yeah. you know? So I was like, oh, it's one and the same from our different cultures. Yeah. So I thought that was pretty cool. The whole tea ceremony thing, I think we agreed to do it maybe like- Last minute. It was really last minute. I think like a week before we left to go to Paris. And so Christina went with me to go buy the Chinese dress and it was so cool because the very first store that we walked into and the very first dress that I tried on was the one I ended up leaving with because immediately once I zipped it up it would fit like a glove it was like this dress was meant to be mine and I got kind of a little bit emotional too when I was wearing it because and then I saw Christina too she's trying she she got a little choked up but she was just like this dress was made for you it's amazing and then the lady too uh, from the store she ended up giving me a discount because she was like this dress is for you like you look amazing in it and I was like I feel amazing in it oh my god yeah it was so cool and then uh, the whole money dance thing too it was funny because <laughs> the song that we wanted to play. It didn't play. It didn't play because we wanted the song um, by Banda Limon, uh, Media Naranja. I think it's Banda Limon. So well. it's a <laughs> band of lemon singing about orange halves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, but anyways, we had a specific song, which yeah. is like Casey's favorite song, Mexican banda song. That's a dope song. It didn't play though. The DJ ended up just searching some random song that was called. I think it was, that yeah, I think it's just multiple songs called that. And yeah, so, so we got the wrong one. It's so all good though. When by the time we started dancing, I was like, this isn't our the song that we wanted. Oh well, it's our fault because we didn't even specify. Yeah, we it was didn't, just too we fast. Everything it to was them. a blur. It really was a blur. If you guys are getting married, just know that your wedding goes by. So so fast. I really wish I could redo it because I feel like not that it was bad or anything. No, it's just that it went by too fast to the point where it's like, oh, we missed it. We even said this to ourselves, like walk after the ceremony, the yeah. Western ceremony, we walked up to that the, the building, the pavilion. And uh <laughs> yeah, we're walking up, it's like just us two would enjoy this. This is like once in a lifetime. It's our wedding day. It's our wedding day. Yeah. Enjoy it because I know for sure we're we're gonna regret not enjoying it enough. Yeah. And sure enough. We didn't enjoy it enough. Besides that long walk, there was no other moment that whole day that we really could just soak it in and just relish in, in our wedding. Yeah. It was literally just that walk. It's just a million people day. coming at you with a million yeah. things and, and you're constantly the, needing to talk and deal with things. Yeah, so it was, yeah, it's really hard to enjoy your own wedding. Yeah, and then so I was kind of about that too because I heard that the canapes, the appetizers, or not appetizers, the, what are they called? Uh, hors d'oeuvres. Yeah, the hors d'oeuvres. Oh, yeah, can I don't know. It, on the menu that says canopies, but I mean, to my my knowledge from watching movies that everyone's always called more dirty. Yeah, I don't so know. The finger foods, things. the fancy finger foods that come out on platters. Yeah, yeah during the cocktail hour, every, while we were taking photos, everyone was enjoying the, the hors d'oeuvres and everyone was saying like, they were amazing. So while we were taking photos uh, and the wedding planner, she comes over with the platter of some of these hors d'oeuvres, but it was like cheese with, with- Ham and some cucumber. Yeah, it was like cucumber. So it was- oh. 
It was so good, but the whole tray was just that, so I was kind of... We didn't have the variety. Yeah, I was like, I was oh, I kind of wish I would have tried the other ones because yeah. everyone was just raving about them, so that was pretty cool. But if the quality of that of the ones we did try was an indication of how good everything else yeah. was, then it was phenomenal. And then apparently Isaac ate like six or seven of this one, like chicken one. Yeah, I yeah. I feel like Isaac was the one that fully enjoyed the wedding day because yeah. everything was about him too, Yeah. but then he wasn't occupied with everything else, so he was just like... He was the most so free. Yeah, like, he was the most free because everyone else, you know, I think being a grown-up too, it's like, you know, you have to kind of mingle, you know, and talk to the family and talk to the friends. And as a grown-up, that's kind of like the, the nature of conducting yourself yeah. is. But for kids, though, you know, you don't have to conduct yourself a certain way, you know, no one's going to hold you to it. And so he was able to be in his own world and yeah. see everything in detail and really you relish know, it. You know, he was even, because uh, the bathroom was downstairs, like yeah. the basement, he was by the bathroom, like, I don't know. He was like a called. door guy. Yeah, 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 like a door guy. Because I was like, where is Isaac? And then they he were found like, himself a part-time job at the wedding. Yeah. <laughs> I wish we would have gotten footage of that. <laughs> you know, I realized too, I didn't go to the restroom the whole time we were there. That's not healthy. I felt like I had to. It was just I didn't drink enough or I don't know, but I never saw him yeah, down there. Yeah. But I kind of wish I would have seen him because apparently he was being like the doorman. So we didn't include this in the main video, but what we did when we were up there doing our little speeches, we actually spoke to every single table that was yes. there. Yes, I actually really liked how small our wedding was because we were able to address every single person and that's yeah. exactly what we did. We literally spoke to every single person during the, the banquet yeah, right before we speech. ate, right yeah. before dinner. And then in the middle of that, Gina was actually FaceTiming with Bart and Gio at that mm -hmm. moment. So then I started speaking to her and then Gina's like, she's right here, she's right here. So I was like, oh, hey. And then you just hear Bart saying, hey, guess what I'm doing right now? In the middle of me trying to say like this really beautiful speech to both of them, he's like, guess what I'm doing? And then they pan down and this fool's on the toilet. <laughs> He's like, I'm pooping. And I was like. We're like, what? What? And then your aunt, your aunt was the closest to the phone. Yeah. And she was like, He's pooping. And then I was just like, <laughs> I'm like, that's funny, but it kind of ruined the whole thing. I was like, oh well, sorry. I can't even no, finish my no, thought. No, it, it was it was Bart's way, Bart's a weird dude, but He's it was really Bart's weird. way of saying, this is how important your wedding is. Even when I need to take a poop, <laughs> I'm gonna be there for your wedding. Yeah. I can't be there in person and I need to take a poop but I'm gonna be there. And you know what's even funny? And that's, that's awesome. You know what's funny? Bart and Gio are definitely meant to be because when I was sending her videos before the ceremony, she sent me a video back and she's like, I'm so happy for you Amiga but I'm sorry right now I'm, I'm on the toilet, I'm pooping but I love you and I was like What's up with them and pooping? I know! That's how they communicate with us while yeah. they're on the toilet yeah. on our wedding day. Yeah. That's so funny. I'm glad that Bart and Gio were able to tune in, you know. Yeah. Uh, in segments of our wedding, so that was that was pretty cool. Man, I honestly wish I could just go back in time and relive that whole day over and over and over again. But That's I what can. The video's for. I was about to say that, but I can thanks to this beautiful video. Are you more excited about the wedding, or are you more excited about getting dressed up? A little dressed up. <laughs>